What's up dudes, Chooch back with another video. And today, we're looking at this right here. So I recently got tired of riding, the sun sets at five o'clock now, and I got tired of riding in the dark. It's snowing all the time here, raining, and I needed something where I could see at nighttime, and instead of like having just a pocket little flashlight, because usually, this is what I use. I, I carry a flashlight like this, you know? I mean, this is high powered, a thousand lumens, but I needed something a little bit more, and like something on my head. So I did this whole setup right here on my helmet, which is pretty sweet. These lights are super bright, super cheap, and I'm gonna show you kind of how to set them all up right now. And you can see when you turn all these on, like that is that is awesome. I mean, this thing, this is the way to go right here, dudes. This is like next level lighting on your unicycle helmet. Anyways, let's check it out. Let's check out how to do it. Oh my God, that's so bright, that's so bright. And then also check out, you got all these modes too. So you got like, these are your, basically like your fog lights. These aren't even your main lights right here. And then you can turn, you can turn these on with, look at these. So you got all these modes with these lights, which are flashing right here. And then you can have your main lights on. So that's like a super safety feature right there. So you got, the, you can't even see the flashing reds on there right now. But anyways, dude, this thing is sweet. And um, here, this is it on Amazon. So this is what you're gonna need right here. If you get this on Amazon, it's 23 bucks. I'll link it in the description. This is it right here. It comes with the batteries. And basically all you gotta do is take off the headlamp strap and get some Velcro and you can set this up. So another thing you're gonna need is Velcro straps like this. Uh, I'll put this link, link these in the description as well. You can get an entire box of just two inch wide Velcro adhesive and it comes in, it's nice stuff. This is, I mean, this is really quality stuff. It's like 12 bucks and you've got plenty of stuff to do other projects afterwards. Cause I know people like me, I love having leftover stuff so you can do other projects with it when you're said and done. But basically all I did right here, I'll bring it closer so you can kind of see this. And I use this helmet for snowboarding as well. So I can't have this on there all the time permanent. So I needed it to be able to take it on and off. So what I did is you can even see, so this is where all this used to strap into your head headlamp right here. This is where the headband kind of went around all on all these and I undid that and I just basically took the piece of Velcro, put the piece of Velcro right around the back right there. You can see the lighting's kind of weird in here. Yeah, there we go. Just put a piece of Velcro in there, put it down good. And this is really, this not, light is really nice. There's a little bit of anodized aluminum in between. Other than that, it's like plastic construction. We got rubber buttons up here on the top that are super tactile. Uh, it, it's waterproof, so that's another good thing. You, you want all your stuff to be waterproof, of course, riding, especially in the snow and all that stuff. I don't want to have an electrical fire on my head with 18650 batteries. That wouldn't be too fun. But right in the back right here, this is your, your battery tray. It's um, 18650 batteries and it's waterproof. And the cool thing about this is you can actually charge these 18650s right on the back. So micro USB straight in the back right there. You don't need to carry a, uh, you don't need to worry about having a wall charger for your 18650s like this. So this is your standard like wall charger you normally would have. Um, you can just charge it right up, right off of here. So close those bad boys up and it has a nice little seal. And I think, I mean, it should be completely waterproof. All the all, everything's covered up really good. All the buttons are super uh, completely covered with rubber. And then on the back right here, I literally, you can see, the Velcro is super strong, guys. That Velcro is epic. And then I just put a little piece of Velcro right there on the back. And so this is the whole kit right here. And they even give you, check this out. So with that $23 kit right there I just showed you on Amazon, it gives you a case to carry it in as well. So you got, you got a carrying case right here to put all this in when you don't want to use it and you can just slap it on if you use the velcro method you can just literally just take it like this line it up oh a cool thing about this on the back it also has a tail light which flashes so this isn't the brightest thing in the world but it's something to have and i wanted to put it on the back back here so i would make use of it you know so just put it on the back right there it, and this this stuff sticks i mean it, you you literally just push it down that thing's not going anywhere it's on there solid and the good thing about putting the lights on your actual helmet is when you crash, you're not going to... Because usually if you crash, you kind of bail on the unicycle, you know? And uh, the cool thing about having the lights on the actual helmet is you're not going to tear your lights up every time you crash your unicycle. And basically, right up on the front right here, this is how easy it is. I just line it up whenever I go to put it on. Line it up right there in the middle. Slap that baby down. Just push it down good. 
And once that Velcro all connects on this like light piece, I mean, you're good. And you can, you got full range, you can adjust it, everything like that. It's solid on there. So you're good to go. You can literally just take it on and off that easy. So that's pretty sweet. The whole light setup on there. And if y'all are wondering, this is a TCOM right here. This is another thing I have. And like I said, I use this for snowboarding as well and riding motorcycles. And the thing is, my buddy has the same one of these. And so if we're snowboarding or whatever, and he's, say, in front of me uh, 50 yards, this doesn't work a huge range. You got maybe about, say, about 50 yard range on it. So if we're snowboarding right next to each other, we have walkie talkies on all the time. And if you're ever doing group rides, unicycling, doing group rides with people, and you want to be able to talk and not yell, you know, everywhere you're going or whatnot, like if you're going through the city and you don't have to be, hey, wait up, whatever, you can just use these right here. These T-Coms are great. I think you can link a lot of them together and you can also play music. So I got inside in here, I got music wired up and you can't really see it. Here, I'll show you with this flashlight. See? Kind of, you can kind of see the speakers in there. Yeah, you see the speaker wire in there? And then on this side, there's also a speaker on that side as well. And so the whole helmet's pretty much wired all up. And then on this, on to the top right here, I actually did go ahead and put my old mirror. I shortened it up and got it really stubby and got it. And the thing is with these mirrors, if you're gonna run a mirror on your helmet, you want it really close to your eye because it'll make the picture in the mirror a lot bigger. You know, these are tiny mirrors, so you gotta have them close to your eye to make them work. So I shortened up the stem on this and then just slapped it right on there with a little piece of Velcro. So you can literally do all this stuff with Velcro and that's pretty much the best thing to use for a helmet because it's not gonna damage. I've, all, I've peeled it all, off of this before and it has ripped a little bit of paint, but if you do it slowly, it's not gonna tear it up. And it's sweet. So you, the full, this light is awesome. I love having this. And the, the batteries last forever. Since it's two 18650 batteries in a pack back here, they last forever, which is which is great. So this is this is the new helmet setup. It's working out good for me now. And always, of course, this is a GoPro. If y'all are wondering what this is on the front, this is a GoPro and a SoPro mount. And if you look up uh, S O P R O. So pro mounts, you can uh, basically it make hel mounts that you can put on the front of a helmet right here. So you got that first, per like that first person view, and the weight of it being on the front right here, uh, it doesn't mess with your helmet at all. Like you know, if you put your your GoPro on the top of your helmet, you snag it on tree limbs, you snag it on stuff, and it's that extra little bit of weight up top. And I don't know, I just like my helmet low like that, especially for snowboarding. But anyways, dudes, that's the helmet setup. If y'all enjoyed the video, throw it a thumbs up, and I will see y'all in the next one.